if you are fasting extended periods of time and you know you find that when you're eating it's very difficult for you go for cornmeal part hello everyone right from my video you can see that's cornmeal and i'm gonna make some cornmeal porridge so i'm gonna show you the simplest and the quickest way to make cornmeal porridge i'm not gonna make it over complicated i'm not gonna overdress it with so many different things i'm gonna just make it so simple so right here you can see the cornmeal and right here there is a bowl and in that bowl i'm gonna add about a cup of cornmeal and i'm gonna just add some water to soak it in and then i'll show you the little steps as to how to make a very quick cornmeal porridge so right here you can see the actual cornmeal and it's like about a cup and i'm just gonna add some water inside of it you know i've been doing this for so many years so i don't even measure anything you know so it's pretty much like a cup of water so right there you can see the water is actually boiling and i'm just gonna add the cornmeal inside that water okay so one thing i gotta tell you about cornmeal as soon as you put that cornmeal in that boiling water you need to turn down the heat to about a medium or low on the oven and you have to be consistently stirring it because if you don't it clumps up and it becomes a little bit challenging to kind of get everything nice and smooth so um just stir and stir and to be honest with you if you feel like it's too thick you feel free to add some water to it so i'm just gonna be stirring and cook this cornmeal and um you can cook this about five ten minutes and um you should be okay with that so you can see the consistency here it's very thick and just keep in mind you see those little bubbles if you allow them and they hit your skin i'm telling you it is very hot so just consistently mix in stirring until it's cooked and um, feel free to add more water if you want it a little bit thinner than what it is okay so you can see my cornmeal right there it's looking all nice and cooked and this has been cooking for over 10 minutes and see the consistency it's perfect for me if you want it thicker go ahead if you want it thicker, thinner add more water and throughout all of this i add water to it because it just gets thicker and thicker and I didn't want it that thick, so I add a little water and mix it out to that level. So once your cornmeal is cooked, what you have to do, there's some little ingredients that you put on it to spice it up. So you can use your nutmeg, cinnamon, or vanilla, or whatever you wanna add to your cornmeal. You can add coconut flakes, whatever you want. So you can add either or, you can add all three, and then that will give it some flavor. And you can add your sugar and milk or you can add condensed milk, you know, with sugar, whatever you prefer to sweeten your cornmeal porridge, and then you just have it. So you can see right there. And for the cinnamon, it's nothing major. Like this is the cinnamon, and it's just pretty much about this much. So you can see right there. That will do it. That will literally do it for the cinnamon. And if you want, you can go ahead, add some nutmeg, you can go ahead, add some vanilla, and that's it. For me, I'm gonna add all of them, because it just, it's just better. <laughs> so that's it, so I'm gonna add them all, and mix them in, sweeten it with my sugar and condensed milk, and that's my cornmeal porridge. All right, so that's my cornmeal porridge. I mix in everything, I still have the heat on, very low heat, and it looks amazing. So basically all I have to do is just serve it in a bowl and just have it. So I add my condensed milk. I literally add about half a can of condensed milk. So from my condensed milk here, you can see it still have half a can left. So I add about half a can and it was about maybe three tablespoons of sugar, maybe four tablespoons of sugar that I put in, in this whole pot. I changed the pot if you can see, because I had a smaller pot and I just needed some the workroom so i changed the pot and put it in a bigger pot so that i have space to stir in and do all of that stuff so that's pretty much it i'm just gonna enjoy my cornmeal porridge okay so that's our cornmeal porridge and i just put it in a plate and i just add a little bit of cinnamon on top and the extra um condensed milk just a little extra condensed milk it's just delish when you do that so i'm just gonna enjoy my cornmeal porridge i want to encourage you to like comment subscribe to the channel share it with your friends family and loved ones and um, I just want to let you know if you are fasting extended periods of time and you know you find that when you're eating it's very difficult for you 
go for caramel porridge. Make something basic like this. Have some caramel porridge for a couple of days. Have some bananas, some apples. Stay away from spicy food and citrusy food and you'll be amazed after two, three days how good your stomach is and you can go back to eating regular meals. So God bless you. Have a wonderful day. And again, don't forget to like, share, subscribe to the channel. See you soon. Bye-bye.